Hello. Today we're going to be working quite a bit through our glutes, some on our back and some on hands and knees. So we're going to start off on hands and knees so we can get the back warmed up as well. So coming over onto all fours, so your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. So you're going to tuck your chin down again to the length and your spine up towards your body. And then you're going to scoop out and you're going to arch the back and look upwards. So tuck your chin down, push the back up. Scoop out and arch the back, looking up. Again, head down and lengthen. Scooping out and looking up. And then just settle there into neutral spine. So we're not, back isn't arched. And we're not scooping out either. So about halfway between the two where your spine is in neutral and take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, you're going to keep that knee bent. You're going to just push one foot up towards the ceiling. And then you're going to bring the knee back in again. And then you're going to push the foot back up to the ceiling. So we're really firing up that glute, but keeping your hips level. So we're not going to tip the hips to come up. We're going to keep the hips level. To bring the core into play a little bit more, opposite arm is also going to lengthen out. And back in. Lengthen out. And in. Lengthen out. And in. Lengthen out. And in. And you're going to just hold it there and pulse. Squeeze. 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 So you really want to get the glutes working here. Because it's an ankle weight around your ankle. Of course. <laughs> Put it wherever you like, but it'll work the glute more around your ankle. Squeeze. Squeeze, 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 and back in again. Hello, glutes. Okay, changing legs. And you're going to push the foot up, bring the knee in, pushing up, and in, pushing up. And again, work the core a little bit more by lengthening the opposite arm out as well. Pushing up. Pushing up and in, pushing up, make sure the hips stay level so we're not twisting at the hips or at the shoulders, and in, pushing up and in, and then just hold if you can, just squeeze, keep the arm in straight if you can, or bring the hand in front, squeeze, 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 and back in again. Now again, tuck your chin down, push your back up to the ceiling, flatten the feet out, sit your hips back, your heels, and stretch your arms forward for child pose. And you're going to come over onto your back. And hug your knees into your chest and give your lower back a little stretch. Rocking the knees back and forth. We're going to bring both feet to the floor. Bring your arms down by your side. We're going to warm up the lower back and glutes a little bit more by just tilting the pelvis, pushing your lower back into the floor. It's a really nice one to do whenever if your lower back is feeling tight. So push the back into the floor, so you see my back is arching, and then I'm just pushing my lower, and really imprint your lower back into the floor. So imagine you're trying to leave an imprint of your spine into the mat. By really pushing each vertebra in, you're going to curl the tailbone slightly and release. Keeping the shoulders down away from your ears, your neck is going to stay long. Squeeze and tilt and release. Squeeze and tilt and release. And now you're going to lift the hips all the way up into your bridge. As you come up, lift onto your toes. Hold it there, breathing in. Breathing out, rolling down. Come back your feet flat onto the floor, tilting, peeling up onto your toes, lifting up, rolling down and back, tilting, peeling up, squeezing the glutes, rolling down and back, tilting, peeling up onto your toes, rolling and back. This time we're going to come up onto your toes if you can, staying in your bridge and bring one knee in towards you, lengthen the leg up towards the ceiling. So just lower the hips about halfway and your back up, lower the hips halfway and lifting up, lower, squeezing up, lower and lift, lower, lift, lower and lift. 
keeping your hips level, keeping your core strong. As you lift, inhale, release, slightly pushing up. Just one more. Change over legs, pause and rest if you need to. Bring the other knee in, straighten the leg, just lower, lift, lower, lower, lift, lower, lift, lift, lower, lift. If you squeeze through those glutes, keeping your core strong, squeeze, lift, 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 lift. And bring the foot down, roll down through your spine and hug your knees into your chest. Touch your lower back and also through to your glutes, rocking your knees back and forth. And then bring both feet back down to the floor. Take a deep breath in. This time as you breathe out, lifting, come onto your toes to start with if you feel you can. I can get the high lift in my bridge if I'm on my toes because I've got quite a flat back. You might feel you're going to cramp through your calves if you breathe in. Either keep the feet flat or bring the foot feet up slightly, either onto a block or onto just a sort of stool or something. Okay, so you're going to peel up through your spine. As you come up, you're going to lift your arms up and reach the arms all the way up. Squeeze the glutes as you breathe in. Breathing out, rolling down and arms down by your side. Peeling up, include the arms if you can. Squeezing, lifting up, rolling down. Lifting up. This time, as you come down, circle your arms around wide and down again. So, peeling up, lifting arms up, around as you lower down. Taking your time, working through your spine. Imagine your spine either like a beaded necklace or a bicycle chain coming down link by link or bead by bead. Peeling up, lifting up, around. Peeling up, around and down. Two more, peeling up, around and down. This time we're going to come up with your arms above your shoulders. You can do this with your arms down by your side if it's too much. Make sure the shoulders aren't hunched up around the ears. And if you can, to lift one foot off the floor. And down, changing legs. So arms can be down by your side if you need a bit of stability. Keep the shoulders level. Lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, and tap, lift, and tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, and tap. Keep those hips lifted, they're starting to sag. And tap. One more to each leg. Last one. And rolling all the way down through your spine, back to neutral, hug both knees in towards you. Rock your knees gently back and forth again. Massaging your tailbone into the floor. Now you just reach for your ball, or any little squeeze between the knees. The ball's between your knees and your feet are down to the floor again. Again, I generally choose to have my heels lifted because I've got quite a flat back. You can all keep your feet onto a stool or something. You're going to squeeze the ball between the knees, tuck your tailbone up off the floor and then rolling up into a bridge on your toes, optional, squeezing into the ball, rolling down again, back to neutral. So release the ball slightly without letting it go. And squeeze, peeling up, squeeze into the ball and rolling down again, back. Squeeze and lifting up. Inhale the top and exhale as you roll down again through your spine to neutral. This time coming up into your bridge, holding your bridge and squeeze three times. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and rolling down. So lifting up, you're squeezing the glutes and into the ball. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and rolling back down. Lifting up and squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, rolling down. Lifting up, squeeze, 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 and rolling down. One more. Squeeze, 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 rolling down and back. Take the ball out, bring the ball to the floor above the head. You stretch through your shoulders, 
and the knees relax out wide as you open through your hips. Slide your legs out, stretch from fingertips to toes. Really long and tall. Lose the ball. Bring your arms down by your side. We've got one more for glutes, and then we're going to stretch the glutes out. So slide your heels back in. Again, optional to toes. If you peel up through your spine, coming up into a bridge, hold it there, bring one knee in towards you, straighten the leg, and then lower that leg downwards, open up through the front of the hip, and lift the leg back up again. Lowering down. So this glute is really stable, keeping the hips level, and lift. Really putting the tension through the glute as you lower the leg, and lift, but keeping those hips as level as you can, and lift. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Really hold the core strong to help keep those hips level. Don't sag the hips to the side and lift, lower and lift. One more and bring the knee in. Have a rest if you need to. Pause if you need to have a little rest and a stretch. If not, straight into the other leg. Keep those hips lifted. Lower the leg and lift, lower and lift. Lower and lift. So feel that front of the hip opening up and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. And lift. One more. And bend the knee, bring the foot down to the floor and roll down again through your spine and hug your knees into your chest. Oh, give your lower back a little stretch. Rock your knees back and forth. Gonna bring your right foot to the floor. Rest your left ankle across the thigh. Push the knee away from you. So giving the hip flexor a little stretch. But also just open up through the hip. Just gently externally rotating through that hip. To make the stretch a little bit deeper, just come up onto the toe with the supporting leg if you really want to. Keep the knee wide. Release the knee, keep the foot where it is and reach through the supporting leg, hold on behind the leg and ease in towards you. You should feel it through the stretch of the leg that's nearest to you. If you can't, you can pop the hand into the knee, bring them diagonally across or even reaching round to hold onto your ankle to ease in, to stretch. Whatever works for you, whatever level, just feel the glute stretching. So relieve the tension through the glutes, work them really hard. And lower down again, changing legs. Press the ankle across the thigh, push the knee away from you again, just open up through the front of the hip. Relax the knee wide. Release the knee and again reach through, holding on behind the leg, ease in towards you. Again, options there is to bring that knee diagonally across a little bit further to get the glute opening and stretching or holding on to opposite ankles and ease in. And release, hug both knees in towards you, stretch your lower back and glutes. Rock your knees back and forth with your hands under your knees as you did at the start. Hug your knees in and down. Hug the knees in and down. Then bring the knees out wide. Stretch your arms all the way up. Arch the back slightly as you open up through your abdominals. Lift your ribs up from your hips. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, slide your heels out. Lengthening at all from fingertips to toes. And relax. Well done. And we're done for today. Have a lovely one.